I know that you're friends with President Trump. I know that you guys have a very close relationship. You guys are friends. He's, you know, always supported your work and you've endorsed him as well. Uh, how did this come about that President Trump decided to uh, host the premiere, the upcoming premiere, which I know is going to be exclusively streamed by Rumble. So that's really exciting. We love the folks over at Rumble uh, on November 1st. Uh, if you don't mind sharing that story, because I always like asking my guests about their personal interactions with President Trump. Well, interestingly, with President Trump, I had had no dealings with President Trump. And in fact, when I first got the pardon, people were like, well, Dinesh, you know, what favors did you do him? And what, you know, what's your past relationship? And I said, none. I I've never met the guy. Um, I was once on a phone call with him for like 30 seconds. Um, and that's only because I thought of a clever, I was meeting with Jerry Falwell and I told him a clever question that Trump should ask Hillary in the debate. And Jerry Falwell whipped out his cell phone and calls Trump. And he goes, you got to listen to this from Dinesh D'Souza. And that was my only interaction with Trump. It actually speaks very well of Trump because Trump didn't owe me. It's not like he did me a favor. He just knew my case. He's like, as, as he put it, he goes, I knew it was BS. And, you know, Trump says it out. He's like, I knew that's what it was. I had to look at it and I was confirmed in my suspicion. I was in a position to fix it. So there you go, Dinesh, I'm giving you a pardon. And so the first time I really met Trump was in the White House when Debbie and I and our, our family got to sit down with Trump, really kind of to thank him for the pardon. But we got and we had a chance to really get into it and talk about various types of issues uh, he expresses a lot of genuine curiosity about me and my family. So he's a very empathetic guy. In fact, very different than, you know, a lot of the times people, when they look at Trump, they go, well, I agree with him, but of course he's very harsh and so on. <laughs> no, we actually found him to be very gentle and have a genuine curiosity about other people. So there are a lot yeah. of good qualities with Trump <laughs> that I think have become either obscured or they're not visible to enough people. Yeah, you know, I, I had the same interaction with him when I was at Bedminster and I, I just showed up, right? I wasn't even planning to meet with President Trump and he recognized me on the golf course and he was like, oh, it's Laura Loomer. I love Laura Loomer. And he invited me and my friends to sit with him in his private suite. And it was it was really nice. You know, he was like, oh, do you like golf? Have you ever watched golf? And, you know, asking me, uh, you know, about things that I like. And I don't think people really get to see that side of him. And you're right. He does have a very sweet, gentle side to him. And, you know, Know, playing with his grandkids in front of me and, you know, talking about which one of them is the better student. And I think that President Trump uh, has really been villainized, but he really is, as you as you just said, a very sweet, down to earth, uh, generous, kind hearted individual. Uh, I wanted to also ask you, you know, what is the best way for people to get this film? Because I know that it's coming out in uh, theaters and then the premieres at Mar-a-Lago. What is the difference between the premiere at Mar-a-Lago and then what people are going to be able to see tomorrow in theaters on October 25th? Because you have yeah, a the, premiere tomorrow and then a premiere on November 1st. Yeah, the movies, you know, have a red carpet premiere. It's typically for... Uh, people who are in the movie, it's for people who helped to make the movie, it's it's for uh, media, it's also for influencers. So these are the people at Mar-a-Lago. That's a private event, but we'll be showing parts of it and we'll be, there'll be a red carpet and some of this stuff will be streamed on Rumble. But, but um, the virtual premiere is open to anyone. That's on Friday, October 27th. That's for people around the country to get the first chance to watch the movie online. And um, and uh, we're doing it out of this fabulous studio in Las Vegas. Uh, Forgiato Blow, who sings, he's the rapper who sings the closing song of the movie, is going to perform live. We play the full movie, and then we have the live Q and A with Bongino and me to follow. So it's a way for people to sort of be at a premiere without going to Mar a Lago, and um, and the movie will later be available for streaming on Rumble and also on other platforms. So you'll not, streaming not for free; you have to buy it. But nevertheless, you can buy it and then stream it. It'll be on Rumble. It'll be on Salem now. It'll be on some other platforms as well.